Today we're talking about what happens when you have water that should remain outside but ends up on the inside of your house. We've noticed some stains on the ceiling which indicate that we probably have a leak up on the roof. Today I'll show you some things that you can do to find the problem and then fix the problem. The first thing that you should do is a visual check of the entire roof. And this is the first place that we noticed a problem. There's a big piece of this shingle that's missing. So this is where we're going to start. We need to replace this shingle. I'm using a large flat blade and a hammer to gently loosen the shingles around the one that I need to take out. This is the one I'm putting in, so let me show you what I'm dealing with. This has a tar strip that goes all the way across the shingle. When these are first put in, this heats up and that forms a seal between each shingle. So that's what we're trying to loosen. But be careful though because you don't want to damage the other shingles. Now that I have all of the shingles loosened, I need to look under here to see what is fastening them down. And in this case, the roofer used staples. So I can use a flathead screwdriver to loosen these and then a pair of pliers to remove them. With the staples gone, I can remove this old shingle and slide this new one into place. And this time I'm using galvanized roofing nails to attach this. You'll want to put these in that tar strip that I was showing you earlier. To finish up this part of the job, I'm using some roofing cement to reseal these shingles that I loosened in the beginning. I'll put a line of this across the tar strip and I'm done. Next, I'm going to get up on the roof to do some more repairs. But you can see there's a pretty big gap between this top step and the roof. For safety reasons, don't ever stand on this last step. Instead, use an extension ladder. Let me show you something that you can do, however, so that your extension ladder is not resting on your shingles. Take a two by four and nail this into the eave. Now your ladder will rest on this instead of the shingles. The next trouble spot that I'm going to work on is this boot around the plumbing vent. The first thing you'll notice is how loose this is. This should have been tacked down when it was put in. And the second thing, if you'll look closely, this rubber seal is cracked around the PVC and this could be allowing the water to seep in. If it's not already, it probably will. So we're going to replace this one. Again, I'll need to loosen the shingles that are around this boot before I can remove it. And just remember to gently break this seal so that you don't damage your shingles. Even though you saw how easy this was to move around, I'm using a retractable blade just to cut around the seal to make it easier to remove. Now it should come off fairly quickly. Here's our new one. The best way to put this on, put it at an angle and then you can bend this to start putting it underneath the shingles. Don't be afraid to bend this because it is very flexible but it's sturdy at the same time. We know we have a good seal at the top of this boot but just for safekeeping, I'm going to put some rubber cement around the bottom of this boot to make sure we have a good seal between it and the shingles. The boot has some preset nail holes in it, so I'll go ahead and drive in a few and that'll help hold it in place. Some roofing cement over the nails and I'm finished here. While I'm up here, there's one more area that I want to work on. This is a vent that's above the garage and it's pretty old and beat up. It's probably been here as long as the house, so I'm just going to replace this one with a brand new one has some staples in it as well and these are just popping right out. Actually this feels pretty loose. Let me see if I can get this out without having to break the seal around the shingles around this. Well, 
that worked. Let me see if this new one will fit. Okay, all I have to do is nail this one down and we're good to go. Well, I've done three repairs on the roof today, and all told, we'd spent just $20. But what's important is the next time it rains, the water will stay on the outside and not leak on the inside. 